Nation. Yo, our guan is that guy, not locks. And this is the nation. You guys are the nation. And today we are all knotted together as usual, and we're looking at Dax. Now, Dax is a hip hop artist YouTuber. Um, I've seen the name requested a bunch on the channel, but his video was actually recommended to me through um, after I was watching another video one day, a rap song. And, uh, and I started watching, I'm like, oh, so this is Dax, and Dax is sick. Dax is legit, skilled, highly talented rapper on the rise, because last time I checked, he was only at 700K subscribers. Now he's already, he's already pushing 800. Dax, man, Dax has been ruining the hip hop scene. Um, says here description just hip-hop artist and I respect this guy's music because he's um, he's doing it through the, through the internet he's not doing it like most artists do when you're growing up I was watching a lot of guys doing it through TV and music videos uh, getting aired there but Dax approaches the internet in a way where he does uh, covers of other songs and parodies of other songs and just like kills the beat same way and um, yeah just popping off here on his most popular video Cash Me Outside um, and it's a song about Danielle Bregoli uh, this one the Tupac Hit Him Up one from a year ago was the one that really sold me on Dax and then this one Rap God uh, just came out three weeks ago when it's already at six million and I actually haven't even seen this one. Text me when you see this. I'm gonna text Dax myself after this. Dax! I'm sick of the bullshit. I should be on top, but I'm riding a bitch. Niggas are blowing for less. I've been killing these beats, and they don't want to show me respect. Cali, I mean, that's just a, that's just a taste of what Dax has uh, on his beats here. So in that video, you notice actually, I should go back to it. Whoops, city roll. Oh my goodness. Uh, in this video, actually, we can see his hair is free formed. Of the high top kind. Let me adjust my camera here. Free. Oh gosh, I look high. I just smoked a joint of lemon skunk with some Afghani hash, and I'm pretty lit right now. It feels good. Um, but yes. Anyways, uh, Dax here rocking the free form, the free form high tops. I'm gonna look at his dreads in this video. Uh, he does have them dyed red as well. Some of them. And um, you know what? His hair actually looks like Sideshow Bob's inspired. Simpsons, straight up. And that's wicked. Uh, in this video, he's, his whole video is on the bridge here in, in California. Uh, being, fr I'm pretty sure he's from California. Uh, one take video here, that's dope. Yeah, his dreads looking pretty ferocious uh, in that video. Uh, it's not the right Dax uh, and this and this is the image of his hair from that video we were just looking at and we can see like there's Congos happening this fishtail going on here some people call them dragon tongues it could be a lizard tongue too, snake tongue but I like to call them fishtails um, Congo fishtail Congo happening um, really cool because you know it strengthens the locks up when you get those uh, fishtails happening and it also creates flat locks not always but it not always but it can create flat locks like he his for instance here um, probably about two to three years into his journey at this point and what's gonna be really cool is seeing his hair drop over time seeing them get longer uh, seeing them develop uh, they already look mature they're already locked up and this is just kind of like the first tier of locks from here from where the red is they're gonna congo up and join to be bigger and then we're gonna see some bigger locks happening and notice his new growth looking pretty lengthy 
and the side tapers and the, and the front taper actually you know looks pretty legit he has them done real well it does clean up the look quite a bit when you're looking like at eye level you see the taper and it kind of like frames the face a bit better than having like full out beard big beard and big dreads everywhere I get I get why people taper you know like this was a little bit before the red was put into the dreads and um, definitely not as mature as the last photo in this picture this one is showing us that you know the freeform dreads definitely crazy and wild got minds of their own doing their own thing standing up you know it's something to embrace honestly it's something to really embrace because it doesn't last forever and they're gonna mature and drop eventually so don't be scared of the the awkward stage closer up shot of the fishtails going on uh, the high top taper looks to be looking into a fade here the red kind of faded out into a pink at this point kind of like some pink dreads and it's it's even hard to count how many dreads he really has like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like you know he's under the 20 range I would say he used to have 20 before they, they congoed up and like he might be between 11 and 15 total dreads on his head right now now of course if he did have a full head of dreads that could easily be doubled you know 25 um, to 40 dreads and now here's a picture of him earliest in the stage because you can see some of the congos just starting to happen here and uh, a really early photo of his dreads here um, really really high topped it looks like he's let the high top come down a bit over the over the years. I wonder what this Dax on Instagram. He's still got the red. It looks like he's got a little bit of blue in this one right here. Maybe to match the cop car. It actually looks like he got some purple put in there now. Or maybe it's just the, the red fading, but no, he's got some purple going in there as well. Keeping his dreads, his dreads look really different, actually, from seven days ago. His dreads now looking like they've dropped quite a bit. They've, they've definitely dropped quite a bit now. So very, very cool to see where he's going in this uh, dreadlock journey. I hope to see a lot of length happen. Here's an earlier video of him with, lo with the locks um, just as they were starting to congo up a bit. First off, let me tell you how I got this fluff. Pox saw me in the dream and told me this shit joke. Gave me the pen to pad with the paper to match and told me to shoot and kill when I aim at a track. I'm Damn, he actually kind of sounds like Pac. Flows like Pac too a little bit there. And this was a picture, this one being before the dreads even happened. Short hair or long hair? Definitely longer hair, man. You got to keep those longs going. You got to keep those dreads going. Long time. <laughs> this long hair don't care. And uh, he's, he's basically got the same hairstyle, but with, with freeform dreads on top. And uh, it's really cool to see where he's at now. Um, if anything, I say he could lose some of the color out of his dreads for the long term and just let him grow in naturally. But he seems to be having fun. Cool shot in the mirror, earlier dread stage. He's got like a lot of matted dreads. The tips are all left natural. He's not left to blunt them or anything. Some of these tips are very like straight, like they've been cut, but I don't think they've been cut or anything. It's just the way they formed. And his dreads definitely looking vibrant. He seems to have died just where the, the fishtails seem to start on a lot of these locks which is pretty cool kind of like measures the stages you know the tiers of where the congos are happening
Really interesting. Word up. Oh, here's a cool shot with the color. It's got some blue and some red in there in this shot. Lots of different colors happening in the locks. So, dyed freeform dreads. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is, is talented. Word up. That's Dax and Dread Review today. I hope you guys liked it. Definitely hit that subs uh, subscribe button. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay happy and stay natty. Peace out one love. Respect to everybody. King of Kings. Lord of Love.